Good day, super blower superstars. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Top 2 Touring Cars. It's episode number four of our journey through Support Car Championships. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, won a title in a Lister Storm. 37 to 40 points. That's not too shabby. And we unlocked two cars. The Grinnell Scorpion, which still looks like a tricycle. Is it actually a tricycle? Hang on a second. Am I allowed to go to we do car info in this? Does it? Oh no, it just does the touring cars. Never mind. Uh, I thought I was hoping it would have the info on the sport cars. It doesn't. It still looks like a tricycle. And this, which we are doing next, the AC Super Blower, which isn't a tricycle. AC cars, of course, is the AC Cobra that was the basis for the Shelby Cobra. An AC. Cobra with a giant American V8 in it. So what have we... Oh, we've a robbery on the far right. Okay. So we've got white with green stripes. Good British racing green. There's an exception to don't have green cars. We've got British racing green with white stripes. We've got blue with white stripes. A uh, Definitely a more Shelby looking vehicle that way. Oh, red with white stripes. I want to go British racing green with the white stripes. I think that is only appropriate. I like the blue. Don't get me wrong. I like the blue, but I think green's the way to go here. And where do we start? Knock Hill! Oh, Stormy Knock Hill. Of course it's Stormy Knock Hill. All right. So what settings have we got? No downforce, obviously. We're on wet. Uh, five gears. Yeah, let's take some... Let's just settle down the ass end of the car here. Because it's raining. I was just saying in the last time, we've been to, to, to Knock Hill once and it was a monsoon. Now we're going back to Knock Hill and it's a monsoon. Is that the only condition available in this game for Knock Hill is the monsoon? Oh, look at that old school helmet. We've got, we've got a face mask, probably N95, and uh, uh, no, it wouldn't be. they wouldn't let it out of America. And uh, <laughs> a um, and uh, goggles, which I don't know if they're standard, but I imagine uh, definitely for the rain. You don't want any rainwater getting in and stinging your eyes. So here we go. Break there. There's a high likelihood. Oh my god, how far back do you have to break? This thing's got no brakes. Oh, it's the hairpin. We're already at the end of the circuit. I didn't realize that. Oh, that would explain it. That was a fast lap. I didn't think it was that short a circuit. Unless there's a cutout here that I missed. We are on pole in the rain, so I'm not too surprised. But I didn't realize that the hairpin was... Was, uh, it just that, that circuit ended so fast, I thought, oh, we still got ages to the hairpin. Now there's only one layout of knock hill. Okay, whatever. All right, it's race. A lot of people are running the British race. Well, there's only four colors to choose from. Lights out. No way we go. We've got another blistering start. I might have found a secret there. I'm just kind of leaning just ever so gently on the red line. Ooh, a little slick on the curve. You don't want to touch the paint. So he does it again. Forgot about that chicane there. Um, yeah, no, so you just ever so slightly lean on the red line there. Don't hammer down the throttle, and then when it goes green, then then hammer the throttle. That seems to... That worked in the Lister. It's worked here. Ah, uh, the Knock Hill hairpin. Break halfway along this. I feel as though there is a lot of time to be made up under raking there. The tightest turn in all of Britain, it seems. I don't know if it actually is, but it sure as hell feels like it. Break it to 50 here. I like that lightning... Here's the problem with the lightning, though, right? The problem with the lightning is that... Okay, so I have to gain... I, I think I've mentioned this. But I have to use the capture card to, to get a hold of this. So there's an ever so slight delay between what shows up on the screen in front of me and what shows up in OBS, which is uh, off to my left slightly. So what you get is when you're me, you get this little flash of lightning here. Oh, man, I thought I hit the same breaking point, but apparently I was carrying a lot more speed. I don't see anyone else. Oh, yeah, I don't see anyone else yet, so I think we're okay. 
they just coming around? The, no, they aren't even just coming around the turn now. Uh, yeah, so you get this flash. So you see the white flash on the on on my main monitor, right? And you guys see that as well. Ooh. Did not want to come off the grass there. So you guys see it on there, and then it's like it's not very long later that's coming in through on OBS. Not even half a second, but it is just enough. You see one flash in front of you, and then you see another flash in your peripheral vision, and it's just a little distracting. Now, here we go. We're going to break here. That was calm that time. That was nice and easy. <laughs> Not crashing. All right, here we go. And across the line. Had to hold on to that for a while there. <laughs> now we're good without the replay. Ten points! You're eight, what, eight points? Nine, uh, no. How many points? No, it was 26 points that we needed for the next championship, right? Yeah, because we were on 94. Cumulative points across your support car championships. So it's uh, 94 to unlock the TBR. Or, no, it's uh, 120 to unlock the TBR. So we've gotten, uh, we've gotten 10 of the 26 points there. So we need only 16 more points to unlock the TBR. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, yes, we won. And blah, 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 blah. And the race results and championship standings are identical. Ulta Park. It loves Ulta Park Fosters, doesn't it? Now, this one should be interesting. Just because of breaking points. Now, we should be able to just lift through. I, I tapped the brake for Old Hall. I did not need to tap the brake for Old Hall. I could have lifted and coasted through Old Hall. Now, here. For Foster's breaking at the 100. Broke way too early there. So, it was. So Knock Hill was literally just a function of, of it just being wet as balls. It's an interesting... That's an interesting in way to put that. I worked with a guy in accounting. Everything was as tits, right? And so it was like, oh, how is it, how's the weather outside? It's cold as tits. How does that make any sense? <laughs> Sorry, just reminded me of that. 51 and change? Probably not on pole, but not too bad either. Oh, it is on pole. I'll take that. I thought I'd given up enough time along the way. Being, like, a little ca cautious because of having just come off the rain. I, I thought, oh, okay, we'll just back it down. And we'll, you know, start third or whatever, but we'll have a better idea going, going forward. But no, okay. And on down the way. Remember the rule, no seals of excellence for the support car championship, but there is a support car championship, they're all learning. There. There we go. I think I've figured it... Oh, we have to see if it works in the touring car. Before I say, I think I found the secret to starts. But hey, if it's working, maybe it's just the car. I don't... I have not changed any settings, so... Break a little later this time. That worked. Didn't break at the hundred. Breaked at the or, or broke at the start of the uh, the cutout there. That you see off to the right as you're going to Foster's. So just if anyone's looking for the reference point, I don't think anybody's ever said I've come here looking for for tips and hints. But and here we broke at the hundred, but we could probably go. Well, let's do the hundred again just to see what happens. And we could probably go but two car lengths past the 100 and be fine. So, whatever that translates to, we got to think about that. Hey, whoop. Don't hit the curb. If I don't hit the curb, this is actually an incredibly stable car. Which is nice. Now, how much of that is the... Sorry, concentrating on the braking. Uh, no, I, I don't know how much of that is, is the car itself, but how much of that is the... Uh, the ticks of uh, ticks of rear spring that I took out that I don't know because I didn't even think to play around with the setup coming out of uh, coming out of the wet weather race so just past the hundred there 
That was better. This is just like a heartbeat past the hundred. That's where that breaking point was. Instead of fast lap. It's the closest thing that's come to uh, rotating through the center there. Adding some diagonal travel there actually extended the brake zone. Because going in diagonal is longer than going in a straight line. Nice J.J. Abrams lens flare. Because I don't recall seeing very much lens flare in uh, The Rise of Skywalker. There was, you know, he had the fun with the lens flare with Starkiller Base in... Uh, in uh, The Force Awakens, but uh, certainly not nearly as much lens flare as he was prone to in Star Trek. All right, there we go. That's two down, so now we're just, what, six points away from unlocking the TBR. Uh, look at it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it in terms of that. Uh, this is the part I'm interested in. Okay, so Gilberto also has gone back-to-back -back seconds, and Mark Warner... is uh, finished third twice on the trot. So that just gives you an idea of where we sit in the championship. And then on down the list. Thruxton, Sunny, Sunny Thruxton. <laughs> Actually, Sunny Thruxton. And there's there's no, um, there's no downforce to tweak or any of that, so, um... But maybe... Just like that, yeah. Because it's going to be one long straight after the, after the, um, the chicane there, yeah. Because it's Thruxton. So yeah, we want to just tweak that ever so slightly. Yeah, I know I'd probably be fine without, but... Avoid that curb. And now we come down to this chicane here. Broke at the 100 there, and now it's basically flat from here on out until we get back to the, the final chicane. Just a little breathe of the throttle there. You guys probably heard that, though. And we'll just wind it up. I'm getting way too close to everything for my liking. I mean, it's qualifying. I think I'm allowed to do that for quality. Nice thing about having a car setup that is a little on the understeery side, so I don't have to worry about snapping around on me if I just drive it in the middle of the road. Don't touch the grass, don't touch the curbs, don't touch nothing until we get down to the far end of the circuit. And here we see life coming back because we see some of the buildings there. Here's a crowd, there's a marshal post. I think we're break at the hundred. That was probably a bit early, but it was safe. So we'll see how we do coming across the line. The 105.9 something I think it was. Oh, 1061. I was so close. <laughs> Didn't think I'd quite just, just, I thought I'd just beaten the 106, but hey. Speaking of beating, oh, Gilberto's down in fourth. And there we go. So I like the setup, I like where we are. We'll just, uh, get going for race three. Trying to make sure I have the right throttle position. There we go. Nails the start. There we go. Off to a flying start here. That's Sunny Sunny Thruxton. I hate that I can actually say it's Sunny Sunny Thruxton. I like saying Sunny, Th Sunny Thruxton a few weeks ago when it was actually... A fog wall. Not as exciting when it's sunny, sunny Thruxton is actually sunny, sunny Thruxton. So now, we get to, oh, 161. We get to watch how fast it goes. I think 161 is where we're topping out. I like also.
There you go. Uh, no, I was I, I, I was being quiet there so you could hear. I think that sounds like a supercharged whine there. It seems to get have a little more get up and go lower in the rev range, which would be the opposite of a supercharger, though. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just overthinking that. Because a supercharger works better higher up the rev range than a turbocharger, but or, is it, or am I getting them backwards? One of them is exhaust driven, one's mechanically driven. No, the supercharger is mechanically driven. The turbocharger is exhaust driven. Oh god, which one is which? No, supercharger works better in low in the rev range than the turbocharger, because the turbocharger needs the higher revs to wind it up faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I'm, I was right. It's, yeah, supercharger works better low in the rev range. 90%. Well. That was bad. I'm still... They, they've chickened out, though. Man, I always find a way to cock this all up in, in support car championships, don't I? Fortunately, I can't break later because I'm much slower than them. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've also cocked up, uh... I cocked up Mark Warner. So now Gilberto's behind me. How is he so much faster than me? Oh my god, what the fuck was that? I just got shit canned out of out of existence. What was that shit? Okay. So we're not winning this championship. Like I'm faster than them everywhere, but inexplicably like the ketchup logic just snapped back like an elastic. Okay, I kind of put myself in the position there, but at the same time, it's like the game kind of... No, it's like that was some bull... That was some grade A bull shit hurry happening there. Hmm. Not impressed, Cody's. Not impressed. Just skip that. Yeah, we're not winning no championship. Oh, well, we definitely weren't. Not coming to Brands Hatch. I forgot to change my uh, gearing. Oh, well. We'll change... We'll get it back to default on the... When we get back to the... Uh... That was actually stable through there. Maybe we don't want to change anything. Gee, the one time I actually have a good card at Brands. We're going to be out of championship contention. Maybe we have to do some punting. We'll just kind of go as close to the wall there as we can. Feels a lot more comfortable than Lister through here. And laugh time reflects it. Goddamn. Of course. Of course, I have a prayer at Brands when I don't have a prayer at the championship. Get up and away. So all we can do is just go out and win the race. And hope that enough chaos ensues behind. On the plus side, at the very least, we'll have enough points to unlock the next championship unless I cock this up entirely. I mean, I did say the last time out that the pattern was, but, uh... 28, 27, it should have been 20... or 29, 28... Then should have been 27 last time. We can still find a way to get to 26 points here. One 
think Gilberto's getting dumped anytime soon, so. Must be slow down to punt them off, but that, seem, that usually tends to go badly for me. And now they've gotten an inexplicable burst of speed. As they are closing in. So we'll set a quality time here. And there it goes. That was only a matter of time before that happened. Oh, got hammered by someone there. And Francis is trying to punt us as well. So that was Rossi that hammered us. So this will be what? Unless I can pass this guy, it'll be 26 points at, as we're sitting at the moment. Terrifying. Number keeps changing. Just that second number keeps ticking down 111. That's, that's kind of frightening, actually. Well, this went horribly. As it tends to do, doesn't it? Goddamn. The pattern holds. It's just one outlier. Support car championship over. We will at least get one unlock. In between the next two championships, I just gotta score 30 points to get to the last championship. I thought I was twitchy with my steering. We, are, we did unlock the TVR Speed 12 with our total of 120 points. So, yeah. 9, 8, 7, and now 6. If this was a 27, this would have fit the pattern perfectly. That is terrifying. Is it a self-fulfilling prophecy, or is it the game we're out to get me? Anyway, yes. We've got two more... Well, three more support car championships. Two unlocked at this point. So we just have to get 15 between these two. Or, I uh, average 15 between these two. In order to get to here. The... Jag. Actually, 20 gonna say it was I don't know if it was a Le Mans car it might be yeah it has to be pre Le Mans because this, there was this um old ESPN series and I'm trying to remember the name of it but they got a whole bunch of race car drivers from various disciplines in Jag XJ 220s and it was supposed to be like split between the is that like a series held at Indianapolis Raceway Park and we'll talk about it when we got there but I so I've do research to find it again because I found footage of the races and once and I, I remember watching it on YouTube so just gotta find out where that was but it was just the, the most colossal gong showiest of of like all-star series you think that all this esports stuff that they've been doing right now is kind of colossally gong show oh, wait till you see some of the <laughs> wait till you see some of the footage from from the the, the one of the that they had on ESPN I don't remember the name of it I ah, will get to it anyway Next time out, Grinnell Scorpion. I wonder how a tricycle drives in this game. At least it's not, uh, at least it's not Reliant Robins. They're good for, they're good for rocket ships and nothing else. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode. Took two touring cars. Until we see you again, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media, follow on social media, and social media handle ease on Silent On Air and that's for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out more Toka 2 Touring Cars in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below and more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on Silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.